Hey friends, welcome to Post to Post. Thanks for joining me today. We got some news, well, not really official news, but Dick's Sporting Goods quietly released two Adidas jerseys for pre-order. Adidas did not post these on their social or anywhere. They're not on any other store. So I don't know if you know Dick's Sporting Goods is jumping the gun or what, but these are technically Adidas jerseys, Adidas NHL jerseys that you can buy, but they are not the typical Adidas prime green cut, okay? Just putting that out there. The teams aren't going to wear these. These are just for retail, and they look different. There's Pittsburgh. There's the Golden Seals. We knew about this since July of last year, okay? this is These aren't surprises, but let's bring them up on the screen, and let's take a closer look. Okay, so I want to start off with the Pittsburgh jersey, and like right away, I love the colors, going back to the original colors. It's a mix between the, the, the 80s or 90s jersey with the cross... Uh, text and then the original colors. It's a really cool jersey. I would love to have this in an actual regular Adidas cut. It's really interesting that they're doing these classic jerseys actually because they're also doing a reverse, reverse retro series which just ended and then they're doing a new one. So to have another mini series of classic cut jersey, it's just it's just it's weird. So anyways, let's zoom in on the top actually because you can see the Team Adidas Classics logo uh, up there, 1967, which is the established date of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, so it's a really cool jersey to have in that sense, where it's got some cool patches on the inside and stuff. Going with the classic laces, or laces in general, is, is classic, so that makes sense. Uh, you know, the, the, the a lot of the modern jerseys like this, no laces, uh, so totally makes sense here. Then the material completely looks different. It looks more like the Fanatics material than it does the Adidas material. That's a negative in my opinion, but one good thing is if I can go to the next photo and zoom in here, it's not a sublimation print. This is actually stitched on here, which is, or at least at least heat press on here, which is a great thing. So I don't think a lot of people are gonna be, you know, raving about the quality of these jerseys or anything, but at least it's got something. People are going to buy these jerseys. Am I? No. I have zero interest in these classic cut jerseys. They're just not for me. The material, like I said, looks like Fanatics material, and I'm just not really a fan of that. But the jersey itself is beautiful, and I wish that it, it would, you know, existed in regular cut. But I've got another photo here, which is the back of the jersey, and there's the actual Adidas logo on the back uh, right corner of the jersey. Just for, so you know, these are Adidas jerseys. Now, the second team is the Golden Seals. Now, I want to bring that one up because I, it's not exactly what people were hoping for. It's basically the exact same jersey that existed. I think people were hoping for maybe an interpretation of the jersey to make it a little bit more modern or maybe a cross-brand. But again, the logos are in the back or the, the patches, rather, the Team Classics uh, and then the Golden Seals uh, you know, tag or whatever in the back of the collar. And again, I'll zoom in on the logo and you can see that it is uh, at least heat pressed on there. And then on the other photo, which I have, is the back, which again shows the logo on, on the back, the Adidas logo. So these, I'll put both up on the screen here maybe, so we can take a look at both of them. I prefer the Pittsburgh one. I like both, I'm not gonna buy either. But these are only two, which was kind of the weird part because there are, I think, four more coming. At, at least two more coming. I don't know, like officially about four, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's four, but there is at least two more coming. And it's weird that only these two were posted on the Dick's Sporting Goods site. Now, as I'm filming this, there's only two. Maybe by the time you watch this, they will they will all be up there. I'm not sure. But right now, there's only two. We've got the Nordiques coming. We've got an LA Kings jersey coming, a Tampa Bay Lightning jersey coming, and I can't remember the other one. But of them all, and we've, we know what they're going to look like, essentially, but I think the LA one is the only one that I would consider just because it's... It's wild, it's primarily yellow with a crown. No, I'm not gonna rush out and buy these, but if they go on sale, especially here in Canada, yeah, I consider picking one up. But it's good that I guess Adidas is kind of playing around and experimenting, but just odd in the sense that they're kind of almost shooting themselves in the foot by releasing this classic brand because I think the majority of people prefer this, you know, prime green or whatever, arrow ready, whatever you want to call it from Adidas, they've changed three times now. It doesn't really matter. This cut or this kind of version, there are people who are going to like these jerseys, these classic cut jerseys. They probably fit a bit, little bit looser. So that, you know, if you're, if you're, if you're into some cheeseburgers, then you might uh, prefer these jerseys. But I think the majority of fans, the majority of jersey collectors of people would prefer the regular Adidas cut, 
So I think they're shooting themselves in the foot a little bit because if these did exist as regular Adidas jerseys like this, I, I think they would be sold out instantly, all six of them. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Uh, I will I will talk about the other ones that are released when they are released, whether it's the next two or the or the four, it doesn't really matter. Whenever those are released, then I will, I'll talk about them. Now, I'm actually headed to Prince Edward Island this weekend. I'm leaving tonight doing another stealth camping video, and then tomorrow morning, continuing on to uh, Prince Edward Island, going to film some videos with the goat, aka Dad, aka Brent, uh, this weekend. So that's going to be fun. So there's going to be some interesting content, hopefully coming next week on the channel. And I'll be back, I think, Saturday night or Sunday. So if they get released during from now until Sunday, you won't hear from me again on the Classic Cut jerseys until probably Monday or Tuesday. Just putting that out there. That doesn't mean that there's not going to be any videos from now until then. There's a ton of videos, basically two videos a day. I've got them all lined up, all filmed, and all scheduled. So let me know your thoughts on these jerseys. I appreciate you. I appreciate your viewership. If you're new, if you like jerseys, if you like hockey content, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.